Hello everybody and welcome back to my continuation of Red Dead Redemption. It's finally a weekend. We're gonna continue a little bit. With uh, the main story. Hey banana! Welcome back. How's your day going? How's your weekend going? Hola! Welcome back. Let's see here. What more do we have of missions? I think I remember I had to go over here, yeah. To Agent Ross. Yeah, to Agent Ross. <clears throat> I'm doing good, doing good. Doing good. Yeah, normally my, my plan was to, to stream um, earlier this week, uh, I think it was Thursday, I guess. But I was getting too tired from work. I was like, you know what? Let me just reschedule them for Saturday, Saturday afternoon. Um, then I'm um, well rested, and then we can uh, continue on. But let me see. I see that. There's a stranger mission here. So maybe I could do this one first. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I need to break there was yeah. Um I have like these moments when I stream like four weeks every single day. But at a certain point I just need a break also and have some time for myself, you know. But uh, we're back and uh, fully energized, ready for some more craziness. Horsey, let's go. Hola, señorita. Oh, okay, okay. Sir, I got some time to kill you. I got some time to kill you, he says. <laughs> you must be on foot. Okay, okay, I'll get off my horse. Okay. Come on, yeah. Why can't I shoot him while on my horse? Gonzalo Barajas, something like that. John Morrison, face to face. What the? Plan the way I want it. <laughs> Oopsie. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I shouldn't have done it. I knew it. I should have focused on my mission. I always get distracted. Every single time. Sorry about Oh, damn! Okay. I guess she's done dancing, I guess. <laughs> Okay, let's just focus on the mission now. Okay, let's just, yeah. Let's just focus on the mission. Uh, this way. Is the mission still there? That will be the answer. Uh, the question, of course. It's still there. Okay, let's go. Where's the other one? 
Sorry, lady. You should run off home. Or, yeah, or not, right? <laughs> ah, they'll never learn. These people, huh? they'll never learn. What can I say, partner? They never learn. They keep on trying. That's for sure. Now you're dead. Taking all your bullets. Yeah, taking all your money. And nobody to to dig you a grave. You're just gonna lie there and rot. That's a shame. Senior, can you help me? Get face blown off by bullets. <laughs> exactly. That's what you get. That's what you get. Hold on. That's what you get. Ah, Senor. See, everybody says hello to me, even if I'm standing over dead corpses. They still say hello to me. They know my morals. They know my principles. <laughs> Yeah, and then later on today I'm going to continue with uh, Transformers yeah. as well. I'm actually curious how that game is going to continue. Oh, dogs, get away! Nope, no more dogs. Go away. Come on. And then probably tomorrow I'll continue with... Um, what the... Hey, can't you see I'm riding here? You fool. Crazy person. Um, with the Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't really know how far I am in this game right now. At least in the in this story. Uh. Yeah. But I'll definitely continue with it because uh, I'm gonna do the Undead Nightmare as well after the main story of this one. The, uh, the saga of John Marston and his family. Hola. Can we get up here? Oh yeah, wait. I remember something like that over here. But I don't... Wait. Wait, hold on. Let me remove that... Uh, yeah. Did I mess this mission up the last time? What are you doing, amigo? <clears throat> Nothing. Man, Mexico looks sad as hell. Why'd yeah, at that him? time probably. Yeah. If he didn't kill her, I wouldn't do a thing like that. Sure, I'd hit her, but why'd I'd... you kill her? And why are you digging her up? What oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna yours, have to stand off with this guy. Oh. You still want? To... Oh yeah, I messed this up. Yeah. Oh crap. That's why I didn't do it. Now I remember. There we go. I guess he's dead. Fame plus fifty. There we go. Sorry, Ava. I'll, I'll close your grave again. Someone might as well have this. 206, jeez. Oh yeah, because I, I bought her freedom. I remember now. I bought her freedom, so I got that money back now. An extra six dollars. Damn it. That was so messed up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I ran enter on this... Um, 
this little town and uh, I could have bought her freedom for two hundred dollars. So I bought her freedom, and then she ran off. And somewhere along the way, she died or something like that. I don't know. Or he killed her. Or I don't know what what happened actually. Or she got attacked by by an animal. Um. And then the the sickle dug her grave up. Like I don't really know what's going on in this game. There's still really so many weird things going on. Yeah, probably a dog, yeah. <laughs> Foul creatures. <laughs> exactly, banana, exactly. Exactly. Foul creatures, uh, exactly. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's another. Oh, yeah, this this one I can also do. I remember. That's for this old man. I have to do this. Um, bring, like, these uh, these flowers. Yeah, I'm gonna go over there. I'm gonna try to do this one as well. This mission is actually very interesting. Oh, there's like another one over here as well. Funny man. All stranger missions. I know I have to do 15 stranger missions to get a trophy for that one as well. So yeah, back to the man. Um, in the early uh, moments when I start playing this game. I saw her running around. She talking to this, this donkey? Yeah. And uh, I come across this little shed in like uh, a little forest area. And uh, there's like this old man living there. And he talks about like yeah, his wife and this and that. And uh, he wants to get his wife like these uh, specific flowers. But they're like all scattered all over the map on certain places. You can only grow it there. And he asked me this favor to go and pick these flowers. But the thing is, his, his wife is actually dead. But he doesn't realize that. He's like, he has like dementia, he's like senile or something like that. And his dead wife is still in that shed well, where, where he lives. And he still talks to her. So it, it's a really messed up mission. <laughs> So I think I have all the flowers for this one. Yeah, it, it's 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 really crazy. It's yeah, it's kind of disturbing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so wait, maybe I can wait. Let me see. Maybe I can. Um, uh, let me see here. I don't know if I can. Yeah, the street wait here. So Billy wants to give his wife a bouquet for their anniversary. Wild Fever Fuel grows around Henning's Hen Steed, Red Siege, Rio Bravo, Desert Siege. Uh, uh, collect three of each to make the bouquet for Billy and bring them to his camp. I don't know if I can actually see if I have all these things. Wait, maybe in in my kit, maybe provisions, maybe. Desert Siege... Oh, I don't have all of them yet. Crap. Um, I don't have all of them yet. So I need three of each, it said, right? Oh no, I don't have all... Oh no. I can't do that one yet. Oh, I have to look up where I can find them. Um... It's annoying that I have to go back and forth to read this message. Uh, wild Fever Few grows around Hennington Stead. Um, let me see here. Let me see here. Hold on. Let me write it down because I'm going to keep forgetting about it. Um... Uh, so, Walt Fever Hennington Stead Hennington Stead Then, uh, Red Sea Rio Bravo Red Sea 
Bravo. And Desert Siege goes out west near Gap Tooth Ridge. Out west, so west of Gap Tooth Ridge. Okay. Desert Siege West Gap Tooth. Okay. So what do we have now? We have Desert Siege, but only have one. We have Red Siege, at two of them. And then we still need the Wild Fever, which I... Oh wait, I do I have six of them. Okay, so I don't need the Desert Siege three times, or one or two more times. And uh, red desert siege and red siege, yeah. So red siege uh, is at the Rio Bravo. It's probably on the other side, I guess. No, or maybe not. Let me see here. Where? Oh, it's actually on this side. Oh. Okay, but I'm all the way over here. Hmm. Then maybe. Yeah, I, I don't, yeah, it's an inventory, game inventory, you know how these games work, you know, you can pack 500 items in the, in the small satchel, and it's like, yeah, it doesn't weigh anything, you know. Um, maybe, what I can maybe do, is fast travel there, and then go over here as well, and then fast travel all the way over there, because it's going to take a while before I get there. Let's do that. Let's fast travel over there. Because I'm really curious how this mission would end. And after that one, then uh, I'll continue with the, uh, the main story. Okay, let's see here. I have no idea if they would be on hills as well, or only on flat uh, surfaces. But I only need one more. Oh no, I'm actually... Oh wait, I have to go more this way. Sorry about that. Yeah. It's always been tricky to, to find flowers in this game. Fort Mercer challenge? Oh, come on! No! No, 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 we're not doing that. No, I don't want to get distracted right now. We're focusing on the other thing at a time. Come on! Yeah, yeah, I know I failed. It's okay. I'll do it again later. Oh. 
Oh, I think I have it. Yes, got it. Nice. No, I don't. Leave me alone with the mission. Get out of here. Let's go. Leave me alone. Okay, we have to get out of here. Let's go. this one you little it's a well few few but I'll pick it anyway because I'm a flower collector maybe I can sell them later on I think there's more flowers growing on the American side than on the Mexican side. Let's go. For what I noticed. Well, I could be completely wrong on that one as well. I mean, probably because there's maybe more vegetation. The American side. Sure. See, everybody knows me on this side as well. It turns out that there's just this stranger with dementia and Shaq speaking to his dead wife, not knowing she's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. It's. It's. Yeah. Oh, there's another stranger mission over here. Wait. Maybe I can do this one. Stranger? Hello there. Oh there. Nice to see another sentient being out here. Name's Sam. Sam Odessa. Anyway, that's the name they gave my grandpappy when he came across New York City. Good to meet you, Sam Odessa. I'm John Marston. You long way from home? Where you come from? Yeah, well, it would be if I had a home to come from. Been out here for several weeks or several generations I guess would have made better time but my horse came up lame a ways back trying to get to California see the ocean I hear it's wet from the Black Sea to the Pacific in three generations I'm gonna make something of myself there I'm gonna find something S something I don't know what they exactly but something earthquakes <laughs> out there if you can find one of them Listen, Gap Tooth ain't so friendly to strangers. I suggest you head back to Benedict Point before you run afoul one of these gangs that runs out of here. Well, thank you very much for the kind advice, Mr. Marston. I appreciate it. Yeah, Something is off with this guy. Coach. What's going on with this guy? Wait, that was it? What just happened? That was it? Well, good luck to you, sir. If that's... I, I don't know. That It could be, wait. It could be that because I already had other strange missions also that have a continuance. That later on I will... Uh, let me see actually, wait. It could be that... Oh, hold on.
California. You met him. Uh, he's traveling to California. Told him to find a coach to ride in, and he went on his way. Inactive. It could be that later on, I will stumble on him again somewhere down the road. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I had a bit other missions as well. That just like uh, two or three uh, different parts. Desert Siege, nice. Here we go. It's sad you can only pick like one flower of this bush. There's like multiple flowers here. The game said no, you can only pick one. Then you have to be on your way. Okay, so one more. And then we're gonna visit the old Sinel person. Now we should have enough for this mission. <clears throat> Let me um, check my kit again. All my provisions. So Desert Siege, Red Siege, and Wild Fever Few. Seven. Yeah, okay, we have more than enough. Let's. Um, the other stranger mission okay we're gonna fast travel get off my horse my high horse oh I don't like this what are you talking about what's she doing what's she doing She's putting me in a trap, right? Lady, what are you doing? She said she needs help and then she... Maybe she's running away because of, I pointed the weapon at her? <laughs> that, that, that could be possible. That's probably the... yeah. Yeah, she's like, oh no, not that guy! <laughs> yeah, probably. She's like, I'm out of here. No way. Yeah, she's gone. She's just... yeah, she's gone. Okay. Um, let's set up beast camp around here somewhere off away from the road. There we go. And let's visit that old man, huh? Uh, 
Yeah, she probably heard some wild stories about me. Oh no, it's that guy. Oh, here he is. This is the guy. Here's your flowers, Billy. Oh, well, thank you. Not many around these parts that help an old man with such a task. Thanks again, stranger. Come on in, have some tea with me and Annabelle. Oh, I'm sure here she'll we go. The company. Here we go. All right. Maybe just for a minute. It's my other half, lovely Annabelle. <laughs> mm, much obliged. <laughs> much obliged, he says. Does a man help me find these lovely flowers, Annabelle? Not half as lovely as you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you don't look a day over 30, ma'am. Wait, it's a fine air and the good living up here yeah. in Austin that keeps us so young and full of vigor. Annabelle was mentioning she wants to go up to Blackwater, ride one of those newfangled motor cars. Huh? No bumpy old horse carriage for my angel. <laughs> That's a good idea, Billy. I should get going. <laughs> you haven't had your tea. <laughs> and, and, and Annabelle baked her special blackbird pie. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm sorry, Billy. I must have forgot. I've got an appointment with Planet Earth. <laughs> nice to meet you, ma'am. Oh, I have an appointment. Hello, John. Stop by any time. Oh, we play bridge on Thursdays. Uh huh. I believe you do. Yeah. Oh. A foot bat? No. She needs more than a foot bat. Yeah, let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, bye. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we're not dealing with that. <laughs> Crazy people. Oh, yeah, yeah. There's another stranger missing here. Horsey! Let's get the hell out of here. Flies are all over this place. Yeah. Oh! Okay, no worries. No worries. No worries. Let's go. Crap. Oh, hell no. Good bastards. Passing through, boys. Come on. Hmm. Yeah. crossing. Yeah, I haven't really been to this place uh, only a couple of times, like offline, just to do some discovery, but I haven't really been to this place yet too much. Oh crap! Okay, time to go. Freaking hell, it was like a whole herd. Oh. What?
It says there's a mission here, but... Down gang, yeah, exactly. Maybe in the house? Hell, maybe? Oh, here it is. Oh, this guy again. Oh. The mysterious man. Hey, there's a beautiful spot. Sure. What are you doing here? My accounts. I'm an accountant. Is that so? Mm -hmm. In a way. What? What's your name? You know, it's the darndest thing. I can't remember. <laughs> really? Tell me your damn name and where you know me from. Well, I know you're from Mexico. I know you're from back out west. Hell, I know you from all over. Tell me your name or I won't be responsible for my actions. Oh, but you will. You will be responsible. Too easy, this like a, a devil or something? Spot. See you around, cowboy. Damn you! Yes, many have. Wow. See? He has to be like a, a ghost or something. Yeah, pretty big fan, John. <laughs> yeah. I complete that one? Okay. Huh. Really nice place, he says. Huh. I have no idea what he was talking about. But anyway, on to the ancient Ross. Let's have a little chat with your pal, huh? Let's go. Because now that Bill. Oh, wait. Hold on. There is... A mission. Or... Actually, killing all the buffoons. Damn. There's a trophy for this, actually. If you kill all the buffoons, but I think they, yeah, they're all scattered. I think that's yeah, not gonna work anymore. Oh my God! <laughs> Jesus runs over them. Like, I don't care. Get out of here. Yeah, I'll have to do that offline then. That's not gonna work. Again, I'm getting distracted. Yeah, focus, searching, focus. Yeah, there's a, a trophy with this called um, something with extension, extinction. That uh, Let's go. yeah, you just uh, to get that trophy, you have to kill all the buffaloes, and it's actually in this area where you just saw them. It's interesting. The the further you go like over here like the further you go north the more you can tell that there's more like bigger cities coming up you see like more stronger buildings and everything you see there's more law enforcement walking around you can already tell that times were changing 
See like the the pavements and the roots. Really? Tell me more. Smart, sir. How did people know me over here? I haven't been here yet. There's another strange mission here. With the car, yeah. Hello there, sir. You look like a man who can do an honest day's work for an honest day's pay. Then looks can be deceiving, pal. D Perfect. As honesty is in my business the worst policy. No, I don't think I you can. I well respected uh, Governor Nate Johns. That makes sense. I don't know if you can actually do it in Red Dead Redemption 2. Don't remember. There is a certain individual spreading nasty rumors about Mr. Johns. I'd like you to put a stop to this vile gossip and malingering. Okay. Suppose I can handle that for the right price. Now, this individual has had the misfortune to be photographed enjoying some rather inappropriate company. Been seen with a local whore. Okay. Take these photographs to him. After you take care of business, return to me and I'll pay up the reward for your services. You're doing great things for your state, dear friend. Yeah. You should be proud. Uh-huh. Of course I should be. Okay. Please, sir, this is an urgent matter. Um, yeah, let me see where it actually is and I can... I don't know if it's like if it's in the same place or not. I don't really know. I think this is another. Wait, what was the name of the? <clears throat> oh, it was actually this one. American Lobel okay, yeah, it was actually that one. So it's actually right in front of me? Over there somewhere? Oh here it is. Hey, you're that guy who kills people. <laughs> you're that guy who kills people, is that <laughs> Hey <laughs> Where is he? Hey this guy? Bella. What do you think of our Governor, Nate Johns. Nate Johns? Why, that no good lying, backstabbing bastard. I'd like to see him horse whipped. Damn. <laughs> Why you ask, friend? Well, you need to make sure I had the right man. Would you care to take a quick look at a couple photographs of you coming out of a fine place of not much repute? What? Hey, it's uh, a murderer that's been running around. <laughs> Causing havoc. Uh, <laughs> as I was saying, uh, before I was so rudely interrupted, uh -huh. Nate Johns is a fine, fine man and an even better governor. Mm -hmm. And I consider it an honor to call him my friend. <laughs> of course. Wise man. Very wise. <sighs> well, I guess that's that. Return to the black meter for your reward. <laughs> what the hell is he talking about? You tell him, copper. <laughs> talking about me while I'm just standing there. Wonderful. Um, hello? Sorry there. Talk to the man. Taken care of. How much did I get? Come on. Nineteen dollars? Nineteen dollars? I just... You give me nineteen dollars for that? Cheap bastards. Ah, politicians. <laughs> They're all the same. What the hell? Uh, 
I love how the law enforcement she just running around and not arresting you at the, at the bat. <laughs> like they knew that you're you're a murderer. Yeah, exactly. Oh, like was that John Marston? No. Haven't you heard? He has a doppelganger. <laughs> That's not him. Okay, here we go. Beer one, another burns. See Mr. Ross? 107, 109. Edgar Ross. Hello. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 115. 116. 117. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. I wish I could How see the scene. Where's Long. my wife and son? Being Tiring. well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want of me to course. take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? Damn. <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. <laughs> no one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder. Or confiscating all your property. Like this that little guy. farm of yours. Or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down. And play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget. But I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please. I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn. But now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. Of course you do. And then I'll let you be. <clears throat> the last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be <laughs> killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. Uh huh. We believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group. Your group. As. Or shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> disbanded. Uh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. This guy. <laughs> I hope I will have the opportunity to kill them. <sighs> oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. New gun. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. 343. Just still counting. <laughs> this guy's still counting. That, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, uh, Dickens. Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. <laughs> Thought you were headed to Peking. Yeah. Um, so did I. So did I. In a long story. <clears throat> but now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Uh huh. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. Yeah. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. <laughs> <laughs> three forty four, three forty five. Three then now what? <clears throat> eight. Yeah, along your way. Come on, go. You're free. Head for the 
wreck of the serendipity, Mr. Ford. Yeah, the, the, the work cars. Yeah, the very, the very first ones. Uh, I love how corrupt government Isn't in this, this timeline are called heroes. Lawmakers <laughs> and lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization. Like you always say, <clears throat> sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. Juver, welcome to the stream. How are you doing today? So welcome. In any case, I'm not I played Red Dead Redemption 2. I only see clips of Red Dead 1. What do you think Mr. of the game so far? I enjoy it. It's my, uh, my second time playing it. We're operating in. Son of a whore. You best and watch your I only... Out. Played it when it came out, that, so that was like, yeah, it's like more than my files, 12 years ago, I guess. Now, what else can I recall from and this is the, the second time I'm playing it, so you I didn't remember anything from it, so for me it was basically like the first time playing it. They told us there was a prize when you got to 50. I'm glad this is all such but, a uh, joke. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. I want my family, and I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families too. Come now, you're stupid, but you're not that stupid. But then you also know, know Jover that Red Dead Redemption 2 is actually and it could be all over today. before the events of as this game. We find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and play being Red Dead Redemption 2 is actually whatever people. else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you live. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or riding in a But I would definitely suggest you to, uh, you to give it a try if you can. A chance at redemption. You can't erase your past, Mr. Marston. But we can. She's running well, sir. Such an elegant way to travel. What do you think of this automobile, Mr. Marston? Automobile. Slow. Slow. So convenient and reliable. Are you comfortable? No. You see this, Mr. Fordham? The brooding cowboy. There aren't many of these left, you know. A bit of a cliche, admittedly. But still, yeah, there's no car in the breed. first one. Like this, well, even Just as the dumb, first one. Just quiet as no The cinematic They move most cows by rail these days, I hear. Not where I'm from, they don't. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. This is the <clears> age of the machine. And soon, we'll all be living on the moon. Maybe. This is the future. Anything is possible. Finally, this godforsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. <coughs> And you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Fine, I want to play... Come on, Red then, Marston. Online leader. Here with me. Okay. You say enjoy that one? Okay, here we go. Damn, I just broke the car. <laughs> Look at that pirate boat. Keep quiet and stay close. Yes, if I sir. just blew your Vandalin head off right now. The priority. We go nope. in, take him down, and get the hell out of here. Quick okay. and clean. You leave Dutch to me. <clears throat> we don't want you getting that suit dirty. Yeah. If you step out of line, even once. Well, I hope you're aware of the consequences. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Probably, probably a lot of, sh a lot of shooting involved. Seems real quiet, don't you think? Yeah, a little you bit too me. quiet. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. Then informed like better this. not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with low lives. I don't remember this part either. I don't remember how far I am in the game. Did what you hear that? Go see what's happening up there. I'll wait here. Oh, you're gonna wait here? Oh, okay. I'm gonna go. Okay. Okay. I'll check it out. Yeah. Sure. Come on. Those screams are coming from somewhere. Uh huh. Why don't you go investigate then? I can get 
get through the door. Oh crap. Let's go around, I guess. What the hell? Can I go? Wait, maybe up here? <coughs> oh, here we go. Stay behind with a gunslinger takes care of the situation. Yeah, exactly. Staircase out here. Yeah, it's definitely a trap. Who is this? Over here! I found him! Good God, that's her informant! Oh! Boss, what the hell's going on here? Well, I did capture him. It's a trap. Now they know. Shit, really? Boss, you'll have to carry this man. I don't think you can walk. Oh crap. Come on, we need to get him to safety. Come on, then. It's a miracle you fools aren't dead. Now on to the next one. Now. My word. That was too close. To Over there. Man. Is he actually shooting anybody or am I shooting only?
BT, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much. Yeah, you don't need to help me, buddy. Yeah, sure. Just, just run off. I'll, I'll take care of everything. This body doesn't weigh anything. Don't worry about us. What well, was the other guy, huh? He couldn't like. What in God's name is going on? Well, people are shooting at us. Here's your informant. Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go, there might be more of them. There's probably gonna be more. Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? We there got jumped. Trapped. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? I just started playing with them. Oh, uh, this one? Nice. Do you speak English? Hope you enjoy it. Uh, yes, he does, sir. He's the informant, Nostas. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. You ever played Let's before? This is the very first time you're playing. No, the plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws, especially when one of them's an office clerk or social secretary or some such. You shut your mouth. <laughs> first time. Okay. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, a very good, good, decent story, actually. Uh, here and there, it stretches out a little bit too much for my personal taste, but uh, I still enjoy it. The writing is really good, in my opinion. Come oh, on, not now! Uh, there goes your... What's your... wrong? I don't know. The motor just gave out. Yeah, well, probably. fix it, you fool! We need to get this man to a doctor! Of course, sir. Oh, Let's touch his men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Fordham, we'll fix that damn engine. Yeah, go on, spin it. Jesus Christ! Okay. I got more of that, it's gone. Oh, wow, that guy got, got dragged with the horse. Damn. Whew. Did you overheat it? I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Oh, okay. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. Yeah. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. Uh-huh. You'll make me blush with all these kind words. <laughs> so much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, God help us all. Yeah. It's not the automobile. A bad workman shouldn't blame his tools. Uh-huh. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse, 
Uh -huh. I was trying to escape an ambush, sir. Yeah. Even if it was running fine, they'd still have caught us. Yeah. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. <laughs> Give me a horse any day. Yeah, a horse is much so faster. What now? Do I get to see my family? Where is Dutch Vanderland? Yeah, where I is he? I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston, even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you'd like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. No, you no. said enough. Yeah, we'll find right. no, more than enough. soon enough. For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it feel, taking a man's wife and child from him? Does it make <laughs> you feel good? How does I actually it feel prefer to with that piece of crap, yeah. Blood? Piece of scrap, You're yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're a murderer. Actions scrap crap. Consequences, Mr. Marston. Come now. Try to look on the bright side. The bright side? Yeah. There ain't no bright side. Your family is enjoying a much needed vacation. And in far more luxurious surroundings than those to which they are accustomed, I assure you. Soon you will be able to start a new life together absolved of all your sins. We should take the Indian to Professor McDougal. See what he can get out of it. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. <clears throat> there is no bright side tonight. <laughs> Here we are. Thank God for that. Wow. Okay. So, <laughs> okay. This is the office of an anthropologist, McDougal. Yeah, he technically. Yeah. Generous. Well, unless there's light, of something. course. Indeed. But yeah, when you have the, the, the street lights, of course, area. then there's they a bright side. and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross, uh, Mr. Fordham. G good day. G good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got Jeez, shot. that guy looks dead. Beat up sure, he's good. a doctor. We'll send a doctor. Now, he's looked like a do? rotten corpse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't uh -huh. you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thing. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Unbelievable. <sighs> That's uh, is always part of the government, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's do the next one. At home with Dutch. Oh, incredible. Simply incredible. Hello, Professor. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, sir. Mr. Good day. Marston, Good day. sir. How are you? Good day. Well, my family's health and well-being are being threatened by some unscrupulous government agents, and my own hard-won freedom is under duress. But these problems aside, I suppose I'm fair. <laughs> yes, the problem Look, is... Look, he has calls on his desk. Like Seriously? Tell me, sir. Is I this guy not mad or what? <laughs> not as far as I know. I was raised in an orphanage. Look. My father was Scottish. Tweaker? <laughs> He's so crazy, look. Uh, you'd make an interesting case for my theory of uh -huh. natural population characteristics. Uh -huh. uh, well, yes, a, a white man, obviously, but, but, but with a savage spirit. Uh, uh, trust me, sir, I mean savage in the best possible sense. Uh, natural nobility. He doesn't but come out that much, I guess. Sure. <laughs> That I've been looking at some blood samples. Is Edgar Ross is sure that, is, and, and you know that this is a doctor <laughs> an escape no. mental asylum prisoner? <laughs> it's a remarkable breakthrough. I've been looking at the blood of both natives uh, and white men of corresponding height, weight, and age. And you know what? Again, no. Uh, yeah, They're exactly yeah. the same. It's remarkable. It completely refutes my last book. But I'll tell you what, sir. This sabbatical in the field may have been somewhat forced upon me by circumstance, but my scholarship has benefited enormously. Uh, would you uh, like to partake of a syringe of cocaine? What? Quite enough for two. Not right this minute. Yeah, no. I think he really took more time. than enough cocaine, it I guess. It entirely yeah. restores the ego. Uh, it takes one back to a primal state. Uh, it mm -hmm. helps my thinking enormously. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Oh, oh uh, Nastas, uh, uh, come on. Uh, come in, sir. Would you like to take off your slippers? <laughs> or, or, or skin a rabbit? What the hell is wrong with this guy? I know <laughs> we cannot see the stars, but still 
My heart is pure. He and could we probably understand it perfectly, wait. Look. The savages must be spoken to simply in metaphors. Uh -huh. No, sir. I grew up on a reservation and attended school. Oh. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. But I can show you what you want to see. I know where the group of bandits you seek are hiding. Both of you. Vanderlyn has attracted a following of young men on the reservation. They are turning to bad things. The savage heart cannot be conventionally civilized. I was right all along. <laughs> Where's Dutch? That's so crazy. In Cochinay. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I know a way there that is so not mad, guarded. Man. Marvelous. <laughs> it's simply marvelous. Yes. He reminds me a little bit of a uh, Trisipio from Star Wars. A scientist, a criminal, and a savage. <laughs> What a strange trinity we make! Follow me! Follow me! So, I understand we have a mutual interest in Mr. Vanderland? You gonna kill him too? Kill him? Good God, no! What is it with you people out here? No, <laughs> Vanderland fascinates me! A white man living among natives! A civilized mind turned savage! It's reverse integration or regressive acculturation, uh... I don't know. I, I haven't found a name I like yet. He was never that civilized. Ah, but of course. <laughs> Edgar Ross mentioned your exactly, yeah, history yeah. with the man. Although I was away with the fairies at the time, I must admit. Surfing great waves of euphoria. He has a little bit that that uh, that, uh, oh, anyway, that yes, characteristic kind of way of, of talking. Oedipus, communist, tale of naivete and betrayal, if I remember correctly. The buffaloes. I'll be back for you guys. Don't worry. Hey, those are my buffaloes. What are you doing? It's my job to read too much into everything, dear Would these people also be chasing that trophy? Hope not. Let's see where this leads. Stars. Are, are you sure this is the right way? Yes, sir. It's rather dark. <laughs> Ain't you never seen trees before? I thought you were a brave cultural explorer. It's this way, mister. Good lord, no. I rarely leave my room. I explore with the mind, Mr. Marston. Enjoy it while you still can. Soon you will have cut down all of these trees. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't stop talking. Yeah, exactly. Or are you making a sweeping statement about the white man in general? There is no respect for the land anymore. I'm sensing some hostility, Nastas. Some anger. Talk to me through this primal emotion. Where it's coming from. Where are we actually going right now? Let me see here. At all trees. Hmm. Don't worry about it, Professor. Oh, sorry about that, buddy. Easy. It's the mountains. I'm afraid I don't really have much of a head for heights. More of a, a head for highs. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Well, yeah. anyway, yeah. I'm sure the staffs will help you. I must be on my way. I've got work to do. Of course Thanks you do. for the help. Yeah. Goodbye, gentlemen. Enjoy yourselves. Come on. I see a spot where we can climb up. And hip.
find another route, Mr. Marston. I will have a look around. Oh, crap. Sound like that. I don't know. I haven't really paid attention to it. There's a path through this cave. Okay. Any money here? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Dynamite. Nice. We can take that. Into the mine. Hey, spider. Welcome back. dynamite here how's it going good this way <laughs> crap oh damn savages Okay, yeah, just a cut, I guess. Dynamite! Oh, Get shit! Out of here. Oh, crap, that's bad. Ah, no, yeah, that, that, was, that was bad. Oh, I actually survived. Bastards. Who did that? Who did that? Show yourself. What the frick? bad of course you are I don't think you should go any further I'll be fine but you go ahead I don't want to slow you down I love you how Nasty right? just walks off that step take it slow go on I'll catch up or see Tiny you parts. on the way down don't worry about me go look for Vanderlyn good luck I don't know where Go now, mister, before somebody sees you. Oh, this way. Sorry, Raccoon. Last still. <laughs> Bunnies. What the hell? Was that a bear? Wow. 
I'm gonna bring out my shotgun. It's just in case. Was that a bear I heard? Oh, it's definitely a bear. Oh yeah, it's definitely a bear. Of course it is. Yeti confirmed the Red Dead Redemption once. <laughs> it's a big horn, a uh, big horn, and then a brown bear, maybe, or grizzly. This is a messy. Grizzly, okay. <clears throat> yeah, it's not going to be the last one I'm going to see, especially in this region. killed it so fast it killed me five times until I finally killed it I just used the, the double barrel shotgun and just aimed the dead eye on the head and that was it don't worry about me Go what I have to this all over oh come on hell no yeah it wasn't a dog it was a, a mountain lion or something or a cat or something like that Now we're gonna watch out when we get to that animal. We're not gonna skin it. We're gonna wait till that cat comes out.
Yeah, I think it's like a mountain lion. Come on, let's get this over with. A cougar, sorry. Oh, 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 no, 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 it's not this way. It's not this way, no, 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 no! It's not this way. Freaking out, almost messed it up. It's this way. <laughs> oh. I almost messed that up. If I would have fell down, I had to go all the way around again. I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Yeah, sure, banana. Need to eat dinner, and I'll probably miss. Yeah, but I'm not gonna stream too long anymore. So don't worry. Um, then, um, yeah, then don't come back in the the transformer stream. Don't worry. So I'm not gonna stream that long anymore because I have to eat something as well. Okay, here we go. <coughs> Yeah, see you later. Thank you for showing up, I appreciate it. You plus go without learning the fortress to your presence. Okay. Touring knife maybe? Kill him right now. What the hell is that? What? I guess Mr. I'm not Marston. Mr. Marston. Mr. Marston. Here you go, Mr. Marston. Put that stuff away. You mm. banged your head. I banged my head. I yeah. you down. Mm. Uh, well, uh, almost lost Nastus, my head. Uh, heard the shots and he hurried up to rescue you and he carried you down. I improvised an escape plan. I'm more of a planner than a man of action. <laughs> of course. Thank you, gentlemen. Friends of mine are with Vanderland. We must try to reason with them, sir. Vanderland's gang contains several natives. We must meet with them and try to save them from disaster. My people have already endured many disasters. Mm. Before, this was all our land. And now we have brought you civilization. I'm oh, sure it hasn't been easy, but it hasn't been easy for anyone, Nastas. Why, I knew a man in Yale whose father once shot 18 natives in one afternoon out in Wyoming. Oh, the man was quite, quite traumatized. He took to lying with choir boys. For a wise man, you are a very stupid man, mister. Gentlemen, I'm going to leave you to figure out right from wrong. Yeah. You are simple-minded, sir. Thus, I do not blame you for not understanding reason. Then again. <laughs> <laughs> The Savage Soul Trophy.
Okay, then maybe it's a good time to, to end this stream as well. Um, probably I'll be back tomorrow, then with uh, Red Dead Redemption and the continuation of uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy. And then later on today, I'll do the stream of the continuation of Starship Troopers. So that will be like in a good hour and a half, something like that. So thank you so much for joining me. Spider, thank you so much as usual. Banana, thank you. Uh, BT was in the stream as well. Thank you. And Jover as well. Thank you so much for joining me. Sure to give it a like if you haven't already. Give it a dislike if you didn't enjoy it. And uh, yeah, leave some comments behind. Uh, all that jazz. And I'll uh, I'll catch you in the next stream. Thank you so much. And take care. Bye bye.